welcome to my channel learn with fun today we will learn how to translate odia sentences into english so translation from odia to english so whenever you are translating any odia sentence to english first you have to know what is the sentence pattern of english so you know that means uh, whenever we will write any uh, your english sentence first what your subject will come then your verb will come then your object so this is your svo pattern this is called your svo pattern means subject verb and object so but uh, this is the uh, sentence pattern of english but in odia the sentence pattern is different so you have to be careful so first you have to find out the subject of odia sentence then you have to find out the verb and the rest part you know you have to write down after that so let us analyze the odia sentence then we will do the translation mo gotie choto gare baso kare so first the subject is mo the subject ho che mo and verb baso kare verb baso kare this is subject this is verb and the rest part these are the in object part this is the object part so let us change uh, means in english so first you have to write your subject mane first ame subject lekhiba i then baso kare live i live so baso kare means this if, and you have to what uh, you should know the sentence that which tense it belongs to to baso kare kan tense hala present simple baso kare means kare if the pronunciation kare the word kare so it is the present simple tense so i leave means mo previous video re kahi chi already i have taught how we uh, how a present simple uh, sentence uh, can be written so first the subject will come then first form of the verb so i leave मु बास करे आई लिव गोटे छोट गाँ रे गोटे आई लिव गाँ रे रे थे आम इन लग आई लिव इन ए ए गोटे छोट स्मल देन योर विलेज सो दि आंसर इज दैट आई लिव इन ए स्मल विलेज दि आंसर इज दैट आई लिव इन ए स्मल विलेज सो यू गट इट then the next sentence we will see kintu mo bandhu sahar are baso karanti ta kintu kintu ro english but kintu but again baso karanti this is your verb mo bandhu subject and sahar are this is your object so mo bandhu this is the third person singular number तो थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर नंबर प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस रे जदि थिबो ताहेले आमे वर्ब रे एस किबा यस लगेबा दिस इज आल्सो द प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस दिस इज आल्सो द प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस अंडरस्टैंड सो बट मो बंधु माय फ्रेंड माय फ्रेंड सो बास करंती सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू इफ ए सेंटेंस इन प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस then we have to use and third person singular number then you have to use s or es or add s or es in main verb so but my friend lives so lives you have to write lives as it is the third person singular number but my friend lives again re in sahar re in town in town but my friend lives in town understand then next sentence mo papa pratidin odia khabar kagaj padhanti padhanti so subject mo papa this is subject padhanti this is verb and rest part is it in your object again padhanti this is also a what present simple tense 
again it is also a present simple tense and i have told you how to write a present simple tense i have told in my uh, previous videos so mo papa my father my father then again what padhanti padhanti english read so my father third person singular number means reads my father reads odia newspaper odia newspaper pratidina every day every day pratidina every day again if you have the every day every word then you should know that this is the present simple tense jodi kono se sentence re pratidina thibo ki janti khanti pianti se prakar re thile ame present simple tense janiba so my father reads odia newspaper every day then next sentence we will do mo ma pratidina randhanti again mo ma this is subject randhanti bhar and rest part is the uh your object so again what mama my mother my mother again randhanti cooks my mother cooks every day every day this is the time expression every day this is the time expression every Day. understand my mother cooks every day again my mother third person singular number so you have to use as or yes in man verb again mu sakala panch tare sajja tyago kare so jodi sabu din ro kam thibo then present simple tense pratidin present simple tense means if we are writing about daily routines then it must be in present simple tense so mu subject सज्जा त्याग करे भार सो आई गेट अप गेट अप गेट अप आई गेट अप सज्जा त्याग करिवार इंग्लिश आई गेट अप वेक अप आल्सो आई गेट अप एट 5:00 इन मॉर्निंग इन मॉर्निंग अंडरस्टैंड आई गेट अप एट 5:00 इन मॉर्निंग अंडरस्टैंड so this is your answer then semane 10 tare kam ko janti again this is the present simple tense again this is the present simple tense so semane this is the subject janti verb and rest part it is it will come after your verb so semane de janti go kam ko for work they go for work at or go to work go to work they go to work at 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock they go to work at 10 o'clock se mane 10 tare kam ko janti so in this way you can change any present simple tense a body a sentence into english in this way thank you so do subscribe my channel and like my channel share with your friends and to know more about it hit the bell icon thank you